Coach Pry was talking to us about sort of putting the lunch pail on the shelf uh, for a little bit. Uh, what went into that decision, and, and what do these guys have to do during that match? Yeah, so it was a collective decision. You know, it represents such a tradition here, such a legacy. And uh, it was something just as a defensive staff um, with Coach Price, um, obviously with his leadership, we decided that that was the direction that we needed to go. Do you feel like it's a motivational thing for, for guys to get it back? Um, I, you know, motivation is not the thing. I, I think we like to focus on our, our inner locus of control, right? Um, and we, we want it to be, we want it to be personal. Honestly, we want it to be something that we take a lot of pride in, that we, on a daily basis, that we go out and earn, right? So it's not a motivational tactic. It's reality for us. What what are we going to do to make sure we represent the standard and make sure that we uphold the, the legacy? But what's it been like to have Allen back? You know, how, how would you describe? Yeah, Alan Tisdale is he's a special young man. I mean, you're talking about somebody who's matured significantly in the 10 months that I've been here, both in action on the football field as a player, but away from here too. You're talking about somebody who's a father, somebody who's about to graduate, who's on the cusp of being making the dean's list for the first time in his academic career in college. So you talk about somebody who can fight through adversity. He's the model for what we want our players to be able to fight through and overcome. And he's done it with a smile on his face. He's done it um, in, a, in a leadership manner in terms of his action, not just by speaking and talking. And so, man, really proud of where he is and happy to have him back for sure. What's impressed you the most about Mansoor? Yeah, so so Mansoor is a, is a very mature young player. I mean, he's very confident. He prepares the right way. Um, no panic in him to be so young, right? You don't really, you don't really always expect it from somebody who hadn't seen as many snaps in real life game action. Playing in practice against your teammates is one thing but actually being on the field in front of fans on national television and having a cool about you um, has been really impressive to watch. And it just goes back to his preparation. You know, he's phenomenal coaching Derek Jones, um, and he, he's bought in, he's learning, he's applying himself. And so that's what, that's what you want a young guy to do. You want them to come, be the best that they can be, maximize every opportunity that they get, and then when they get on the field, they apply what they've learned. When we talk to players, they say, your, your defensive players, they say, yeah. he may not call it plays, but he is, his defense. This is his, you know, you're, you're the defensive coordinator and they obviously view you as sort of the, their leader. How is that transition in terms of like, I mean, I know Pry says he wants to give you play call in eventually, like maybe after this season, but I mean, what's the balance there with that? I mean, how much are you like just trying to, to learn that, that portion of it? How much are, uh, how much do you care about that aspect of it? How important is that to you to eventually the guy who's yeah, one, one thing I tell you, man, and ultimately, whatever your position is in this organization, it's about the kids and it's about the players. So my role now, whatever it becomes, I'm happy with it. But as long as I'm in a, I'm in a capacity where I can serve, serve our players and help them become their best selves, man, I love our guys. You talk about young men, you talk about Alan Tisdale, you talk about a Monsoor Delane, you talk about a Dax Hollyfield, you talk about a Jamari Connor and how they've approached this year. How, they, how they've approached the offseason this season, and it's not going how we wanted to go, right? Nobody expected us, including none of us, expected to be where we are today, but all we've done is come to work. All we've done is come to work and uh, applied ourselves and, and trying our best, absolute best, to be the best that we can possibly be and maximize the opportunities that are in front of us, and that's all we have. All we have is today. All we've had is this week, and then next week when we get to NC State, that's what we'll get. But, man, I, I tell you what, our kids have been phenomenal, and, I mean, they, they make it a pleasure to come to work every day. So I hope that answers your question. Well, do you, I guess the, the play calling aspect of it, I mean, how, how much do you care about that? How much do you want to do that? I mean, how, I'm, sure, I'm assuming you're working towards yeah, the man, opportunity. Yeah, I'll, right? I'll tell you this. I just want to serve the kids. Yeah. So whatever I got to do to serve our kids, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. What has this week been like self-scouting? Yeah. And going over which tendencies or things like that. Did you discover anything uh, yeah, we, eye-opening when you did that? Yeah, absolutely. You, you know. You know, you go through the weeks, and uh, I think we've done a really good job each Sunday and Monday of self-scouting ourselves from the previous games and, uh, and the conglomeration of the games previous. So say it was week four, we were looking at game three, but also one, two, and three, who we were defensively, what pictures we were showing, what disguises we had, what pressures were efficient or inefficient. What happens in, 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 the, in the bye weeks station where we are today, you just have a little bit more time on your hands to really dive in a little bit deeper. and so. We had some suspicions about some certain things and, and certain players and certain situations or field positions, situations in games or certain uh, run or pass plays that were attacking us in certain in certain areas. And so some suspicions were, were confirmed. 
and we found out a few things that we had that we just didn't know about um, that I think are ultimately going to help us this, on this last back end stretch. You guys have forced five turnovers this year. I'm sure both you and Coach Prime want that to be a higher number. Absolutely. Uh, how much can you stress that in practice? And, and, and I feel like there's sort of a randomness sometimes with forcing turnovers in terms of picks or fumbles bouncing yeah, the right man, way. But I think, how, how much can you emphasize that practice and actually see it carry over to the game? Yeah, absolutely. I think so. First of all, you got to teach it right. You got to you get what you emphasize as a coach. And in addition to that, I think kids see um, things that they that are that we deem as positive, that we deem as beneficial as a team or as a defense. If if we if we de deem it as positive and we show it to them. We continue to emphasize it. They want to replicate that behavior, right? So it's about talking about it in, in unit meetings. It's talking about it in position meetings. It's focusing on it in practice. Um, it's tracking it in practice. And then ultimately, it's ultimate, uh, when, it, when game day comes, it's about us getting to the football, attacking the ball when it's in the air, swarming the football as a defense, all 11 getting to the rock, and then attacking the ball carry if you're the second man in after the ball, after the tackle has been secured, right? And if it's, if it's a vulnerable ball carrier who's, not, who's careless with the football, attacking it in a way that, that, doesn't, put the, uh, that doesn't jeopardize the defense. And so we certainly harped on it. Uh, it's become a bigger point of emphasis for us. Um, and we've, we've done diff different things to attack it this week. Good question. Yeah. Through, through the first seven weeks, yeah. how do you feel like your linebacker group has grown? What's, what's kind of stood out to you about that? Group? Yeah, man, so Dax has been a steady edit. Um, and obviously, backing him up has been Keyshawn Artis. We're a linebacker. We've played a number of people in that position. What I've seen is growth. I've certainly seen production. Um, consistency has, has elevated each and every week. But I'm looking forward to continue to take a, an upward trajectory, man. So we got some guys who are developing and coming along who have made some plays. We got to continue to step it up in that area.